Zilanka is back in Farming Simulator 25 as the third base map. For those who purchased the premium expansion and put some time on the expansion map for FS22, most of what you experience looks to be the same. For those who passed on the premium expansion, this is your first opportunity to check out the rolling fields, the quaint village style town that has given rise to some local industry centered around the region's strong root crop agriculture. Now I wouldn't expect a whole lot of changes from FS22's expansion map to the FS25 base map aside from the environmental changes in 25 like our enhanced lighting and shadows, new tree rendering, reflections, a starlit night, etc. I'll be publishing a new map guide very soon for all three base maps, so keep an eye on the channel for that. Until then, let's break this one down like we did the other two map trailers. Now I don't expect a whole lot of changes from the FS22 PDA, but in this freeze frame we get a good look at probably 50% of the map. On the right we have the old wooden mill. North of that we have the canning factory and north of that we have the large tower which we just saw in the intro. The town runs along the main road to the north with additional fields north of that from this perspective. The starting farm is just above the AR in farming and the grain cell point is off to the left. Now this trailer is a bit different than the others and I think it's because it's an expansion map coming forward to FS25 versus a real map made for FS25. As opposed to following a vehicle driving around the various cell points of interest, it's mostly quick clips of various landmarks. So for the rest of this trailer, I'll try to identify each landmark as it comes up. The old windmill, which in the expansion map was just a deco object, but I really wanted it to be a flower mill. There isn't much signs of it being anything different in FS25, but we can always wish. And now we're off to the park, just off the main drag through town. And as we collect the apples that are the map's collectibles, they'll appear on the tree on the small island. If you look carefully, you can see one of those very collectibles on the far chess table. And then across the street from the park, we have what I'm gonna call Town Hall. It's one of the tallest structures in the town aside from the two towers. Something that made Zilonka so unique from a map perspective was the decorative architecture. Now that the map is part of the base game, it means that all of these assets are going to be usable by modders going forward. Zoop 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 is the soup factory and it's back as one of the three main industries included with the premium expansion to make use of the new root crops. In keeping with the FS25 standard, the animal dealer has been revamped to include animated animals. Along the same lines of decorative buildings being available for modders to include the map, there's quite the variety of houses, deco objects, fences, and gates. Every good town needs its hometown bakery. Or how about a firehouse? And of course, don't forget, all work and no play is no fun. Get out there and try your skills on the local football field. Another industry we know is coming forward to FS25 is the canned food factory. And behind that, we have a new biogas plant being added to the map. And something else that's new to the map is this production facility. I've got a feeling it's a sugar mill. As we saw earlier, Zilonka is not all about agriculture. There is some forested areas, and for that, the local carpentry will be glad to make you a set of furniture in exchange for some quality logs. Maybe you'd rather not drive into root crops, if that's the case, then Zilalka has a new biogas plant for FS25. Don't forget to visit the local farmer's market when you're looking to get rid of the produce that you've grown in your new greenhouses. And then we wrap up our spin around Zilalka with the local spinnery. And there you have it. The third map trailer for Farming Simulator 25, it's not uncommon for expansion map from the previous game to make its way into the next game. Farm Sim 22 set the stage with three maps on release, as up to that point it was just two. Usually an expansion map from the previous game and a new map. Now the only time that that was an exception that I'm aware of in the modern era of Farm Sim was with Farm Sim 19 where we did have two new maps upon launch. What about Silver Run Forest? Well, it wouldn't surprise me much if we see that released as a mod map in the early weeks of FS25 from Giants. Which map will be your first adventure in Farm Sim 25? Let me know down in the comments below. I think I'll be starting out on Riverbend Springs, but of course, 
as I said earlier, I'm going to put out map guides for all three base maps upon game launch. Just six days to go until the release to everyone and just two days before I get to show off the game in early access. I'll be giving away a copy of Farm Sim 25 plus the Year One Season Pass this Sunday at 10 p.m. during my FS25 Early Access live stream. If you haven't signed up for that and are interested, then there is a link in the description. Now that giveaway is for PC players only, but Xbox and PlayStation folks, you're not going to be left out as I have two more giveaways also linked in the description. Each is for a physical disc copy of the game for those on those respective platforms. I plan to ship out the games as early as Monday, November 11th. The console game drawings are going to be open to residents of the continental United States, and I wish to reach out to the winners on Sunday evening to get your real name and mailing address. Winners will have up to three days to respond to that notice before a redraw is held if I do not hear back. Lastly, it's not too late to order the Collector's Edition and have it here soon or at launch. Mine's not yet shipped from Amazon. Link to that is also in the description. Don't forget about our goal of 50,000 subs before the release of Farm Sim 25. We're under 400 needed to reach that goal and just six days to go. We're so close yet still so far away at this point. Now's a great time to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my FS25 early access coverage as well as the updated deep dive how-to videos and map guides. If you like this video then please give it a like as it also helps YouTube recommend the video to others with similar viewing habits. Until tomorrow, Happy farming.